Hi everybody, welcome back. In the last class, we saw the susceptibility of an electron gas at uh, absolute zero, temperature equal to zero Kelvin. And uh, we got an expression, psi zero equal to 3 by 2 n, n is the density, mu square by epsilon f. So, we see at absolute zero, the susceptibility uh, is depends upon the density and it is given by this expression. Now, what we are going to do is, we find an expression for susceptibility that holds for all temperature. Okay, so we define few parameters, NP plus, NP plus is the number of particles with the momentum P and magnetic movement parallel to the field. And NP minus number of particles with the momentum P, okay, momentum P and magnetic movement and I parallel to the field. Okay. So particles can have different momentum, they, they can be in different momentum states. And this is the number of particles having a particular momentum P and their magnetic movement parallel to field and this is the number of particles with the momentum p and number of uh, and uh, the magnetic movement and they parallel to the field so let's find the total energy of the gas en that is given by sigma p we are summing over all the momentum states all the momentum states possible for the particle okay the different states possible for the particle and we know this is the energy of a particle whose spin is up, spin up. So this is p square by 2m minus mu b and this is the energy of a particle with the momentum, uh, with the magnetic moment and they parallel to the field, so p square by 2m plus mu b. So when you multiply the energy of each, pa each of these particles with the total number of particles with the momentum p. Okay, you get the total energy of the particles or the electrons parallel to the field. And this is the total energy of the particles, electrons and they parallel to the field. So you get the total energy of the system. And we sum over all the possible momentum states, possible P states. So you get the total energy. And we make certain rearrangements np plus np minus p square by 2m right minus mu b uh, np plus minus np minus and this is okay and here we apply this summation to np plus so that we get the total number of particles with the movement parallel to the field okay sigma p np plus that is capital n plus and sigma p np minus that is capital N minus the total number of particles with the uh, down magnetic moment and die parallel to the field. Okay, so this is the total energy. Once we have determined the total energy, we go for the partition function. We are using the canonical partition function. And the, uh, the partition function is Qn that is equal to sigma uh, the set of np plus values and set of np minus values exponential minus en okay in fact the energy of the total energy of the gas depends on this np plus and np minus the set of values of np plus and np minus okay so d depending upon this set of values for np plus and set of values for np minus we will have the different energy uh, of the system or of the gas. Okay, so we, we can say these are the distribution set. Here, what this includes and number of particles uh, in different momentum states spin up, number of particles in different momentum states uh, spin down. So that is this. So such distribution sets are there and we sum over all such uh, distribution sets okay 
and the important thing is the summation is subject to the condition what np plus np minus is 0 or 1 ok this np plus and np minus is 0 or 1 why because we are considering uh, what we are considering fermions so fermions we know uh, as given state can be occupied by only one particle ok so np plus is either 0 or 1 or n similarly np minus is either 0 or 1 so when we uh, take sigma p and p plus uh, and uh, sigma p and p minus we know that is capital n plus and n, n minus that is n capital n that, that is the total number of particles in the system this is a constant for a for canonical ensemble we know for canonical ensemble the number of particles is constant the total number of particles is constant okay so the important thing is this np plus or np minus is uh, it takes value either 0 or 1 because he is a we are considering a fermi system okay now what we do is we evaluate the partition function we have defined the partition function this is the partition function okay and to evaluate, evaluate the partition function we first fix an arbitrary value of the n plus okay uh, capital n plus capital n plus plus capital n minus is the total number of particles in the system so we fix n plus then that fixes the n minus because n plus or n minus is capital n minus n plus okay because capital n the total number of particles in the system is a constant so what we do is we first fix an arbitrary value of the number n plus and sum over all n p plus and n p minus that conform to the fixed values of the number n plus and correspondingly n minus okay so we take a given value of n plus capital n plus then that automatically fixes the n minus okay because capital n is a constant and what we do is to do the partition function we sum over all np plus and np minus all the set of values of np plus and np minus that conform to the or that uh, conform to the fixed values of the numbers n plus and n minus as well as the condition np plus or np minus is 0 or 1 ok then we sum over all possible values of n plus from n plus equal to 0 to uh, n ok so the total number of particles spin up state 0 to total number of particles uh, in spin up is equal to the total number of particles in the system so a kind of double summation is uh, used so in the evaluation of the partition function we have actually a double summation 1 over all values of this n plus from 0 to capital N ok and for a given value of n plus we sum over all the possible sets of values of small n plus and uh, small n p plus and uh, small n p minus ok so we have to sum over all sets of values possible sets of values of this n p plus and n p minus for a given value of capital N plus and then we have to sum uh, over n plus capital N plus from 0 to n so this actually is a double summation ok so we have this ex double summation of this expression now as we expand we have this uh, sigma n plus equal to 0 to n uh, we are taking this to this side ok so this is e to the power beta mu b e to the power minus beta and minus mu b minus beta and minus mu b so beta mu b then 
this is n plus minus n we have n plus minus n here and this n n plus minus n minus so this n minus is written as how uh, it is written as capital n minus n plus so i am writing this n minus as capital n the total number of particles minus n minus sorry n plus capital n minus n plus so you will have 2 n plus 1 minus n okay minus beta minus mu b so that comes outside okay and you know how this we, we have got 2 n plus 1 minus n from this by writing n minus as capital n minus n plus then the summation over this n p plus okay summation over the different sets of n p plus and different sets of n, n p minus if you separate this you can uh, do this summation separately okay we are separating this we are writing e to the power minus beta uh, p square by 2m and p plus here and e to the power minus beta sigma p p square by 2m and p minus here and sum over all the possible sets of values of np minus sets of np minus possible sets of np plus again that condition is there that restriction is there what is restriction sigma p and p plus is that is equal to n n plus subject to the restriction sigma p and p plus is equal to n plus and sigma n p minus this one the summation over the different sets of values of n p minus is subject to the condition sigma p n p minus equal to n capital n minus n plus so that condition is always there because we are doing the summation over the different sets for a given value of n plus and then we sum for sum over the, the, the all the possible values of n plus that changes from 0 to capital n so this is the expression for the partition function of the system now suppose we have q0 n suppose it denotes the partition function of a spinless n number of spinless particles of mass m so there is no spin okay suppose that q0 n is the partition function so uh, they are spinless so there is no question of plus minus spin up or spin down particles because all these particles are spinless okay and, and magnetic field has no effect on the particles because it is from the spin we have the magnetic moment if there is no spin there is no magnetic moment and uh, uh, the partition function of such a system we actually imagine such a system that is very simple sigma and p uh, exponential minus beta sigma p p square by 2m and p okay this is sum over all the possible sets of values of and p okay possible values of and p right so we get this uh, uh, partition function for such an imaginary system and you know partition function and Helmholtz free energy that are related like this A equal to minus kt log qn A is Helmholtz free energy is minus kt log qn so log qn is minus A by kt or A beta or beta A minus beta A log qn is minus beta A so qn is exponential minus beta so q0 of n the partition function that can be written in terms of the Helmholtz free energy uh, that is minus beta exponential minus beta a0 of n right so this idea we are going to use or this formula we are going to use here we have similar expressions here similar expressions are here okay so for this expression for this one what i am writing is q0 of n plus isn't it q0 of n plus this is q0 q0 
0 of n plus exactly this sigma uh, summation over all possible sets of n p plus ok. So, that is q 0 of n plus and this is what this is q 0 of n minus q 0 of n minus ok. So, that is written as q 0 of capital N minus n plus. So, I think this is clear. So, this is written as q 0 of n and this is written as q 0 of q 0 of n plus and this is written as q 0 of n minus which is q 0 of capital N minus n plus ok that is written here and this term is there I am take I am splitting this into two terms. So, uh, I am writing this separating this one is e to the power minus beta mu b n the other thing is e to the power 2 beta mu b n plus where the n plus changes from 0 to n. So, this is the partition function of our system ok. Q 0 is partition function of an imaginary system a fictitious system. Now, we are taking the log of this when we take the log we will have this minus beta mu b n plus this log of uh, this thing into ok q 0 n plus is now written as exponential of minus beta the Helmholtz free energy ok minus e to the power minus beta a 0 n plus this is a, a exponential minus beta a 0 n minus sorry n uh, minus n plus n minus n plus that is from this q 0 of n is exponential minus beta a 0 n ok. So, 1 by n log q n I am dividing this by n capital N. So, that will be minus beta mu b plus 1 by n log of this ok. So, this is the expression that we get 1 by n log q n the partition function of the system that is given by this and the 0 a 0 a, this a 0 or q 0 that is actually the partition function of a spinless system consisting of n spinless particles ok. So, this is the equation that we get.